Hi! Today we are going to read the book Buzz, a book about insects by Melvin Berger. Chapter 1, Insects and You. It's a warm sunny day. You're at a picnic. Everything is ready. Buzz! Flies land on the bread. Shoe flies! Buzz! Bees buzz around the shoes. Away bees! Flies and bees are insects. So are mosquitoes and ants and wasps and butterflies, ladybugs and fireflies, caterpillars and grasshoppers, moths and dragonflies, crickets and termites are insects too. Insects are all around. Wherever you go, you find them and they find you. All in all, there are about one million different kinds of insects, and there are billions of each kind. Insects are special in a few ways. Most have wings, and all are tiny, need little food, can live almost anywhere, have six legs, and have two long feelers or antennae. Insects see. They have two huge eyes. Each eye is like many tiny eyes. They let insects see to the front, back, and sides. Insects hear, but they don't have ears. Crickets hear with spots on their front legs. Caterpillars hear through hairs on their body. Moths have eardrums on their sides. Insects smell, but not with noses. They use their antennae. Have you ever seen an ant waving its antennae? It's picking up smells in the air. Insects breathe, but not with lungs, most of holes along their sides. They usually breathe in through the front holes and breathe out through the back ones. Insects taste, but not with tongues. Flies, bees, and butterflies taste with their feet. Ants and wasps taste with their antennae. Insects eat, but in various ways. Take dung beetles, for example. They roll up bowls of manure to feed their young. Flies spit on their food. The spit turns solid food into mush. Then the fly soaks up its meal. Insects can talk, of course, yet many make sounds. Crickets rub their wings together. Moths blow air out of their mouths. Termites tap with their heads. Insects may be pests at picnics, but aren't they amazing? Chapter 2. How Insects Are Born Insects are born from eggs. The eggs are similar, smaller than grains of rice. Female insects lay eggs in different places. Butterflies lay eggs on plant leaves. Flies lay eggs on rotten food. Mosquitoes lay eggs on water. In time, the eggs hatch. But what's this? The newborns don't look like their parents. Each looks like a small worm. It is called a larva. The larva has only one thing to do. Eat, 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 eat. It grows bigger and bigger. Soon, it is too big for its hard skin and the larva wiggles out and grows a new skin. The larva sheds its skin up to 12 times, then it stops eating. It makes a cover around itself. Now it is called a pupa. Inside the pupa changes into an adult. Flies change in a few days. Some butterflies take several months. Out comes a full-grown adult insect called a beautiful butterfly. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Most insects go through these four changes, yet not all do. A few insects' eggs hatch in a different way. What's this? These newborns do look like their parents. They differ in only three ways. They're smaller, another color, and have no wings. 
each newborn is called a nymph. The nymph eats and grows. It sheds its outer shell again and again. Each time the wings get bigger. Finally, the nymph becomes an adult. Egg, nymph, adult. Only few insects go through these three stages. Among them are crickets, grasshoppers, mayflies, roaches, and dragonflies. Most female insects lay hundreds of eggs. Some lay millions or billions. Why so many? Insects face lots of dangers. Birds, frogs, bears, and many other animals gobble them up. Other insects attack them, and humans kill them. Insects must lay huge numbers of eggs. If not, they will die out. Insects also defend themselves. Some fly, jump, or run away from their enemies. Others are hard to spot. Green caterpillars look like leaves. Gray moths look like tree bark. Walk, walking stick insects look like twigs. Some insects fight back. Few kinds of beetles squirt poison. Ants bite. And stink bugs just smell bad. What about insects with bright colors? Most of them have stingers or poisons. Animals learn to leave these insects alone. Many billions of insects are born. Large numbers die. Still, billions live on. Chapter 3 Insects in winter. Do you wonder where insects go in winter? Many don't go anywhere. They lay eggs and die. Take crickets, for example. They lay their eggs in the ground, then the adults die. In spring, the eggs hatch. Out come the cricket nymphs. Some insects migrate in winter. They leave their homes and travel to other places. They go where the weather is warm and there is plenty to eat. There they stay until spring, then they come home. Monarch butterflies migrate every fall. They fly south. Some fly more than 2,000 miles to Mexico. No insects migrate farther than monarchs. In spring, the monarchs start for home. Along the way, the females lay eggs. The adults die. But the eggs hatch. Other insects hibernate in winter. They go to sleep in places that are warm and safe. Flies, ladybugs, and mosquitoes hibernate. They sleep all winter inside attics, cellars, and caves. Honeybees hide inside hives in winter. The bees pile up in one big ball. They eat the honey they make during the summer. In warm days, some fly out to find more food. Ants hide in nests in the ground. Each nest has many rooms. In winter, the ants live in the deepest rooms. They eat, they f eat the food that they have stored. Caterpillars make covers around themselves. They call them cocoons. The cocoons hang from branches. The caterpillars stay warm and dry inside. In spring, they come out as butterflies. So what do insects do in winter? Many die. Others travel, sleep or hide and wait for spring. Chapter four, insects at home. Most insects live alone, but some live in huge colonies. A colony can have thousands of insects. Usually the biggest insect is the queen. Most colonies have only one queen. The queen's main job is to lay eggs. She can lay as many as 2,000 eggs a day. Most of the other insects in the colony are workers. They are usually female and they have important jobs. The workers take care of the young. They protect the colony. They find food for all the bees in the hive and they clean the nest. Each colony has also has a few hundred males. Their job is to mate with a queen, then they die. 
Honeybees live in colonies. Their home is usually a hive inside a box or hollow tree. Workers build the hive with wax they make themselves. Each hive has many tiny cells. Here the workers raise the young and store food. In warm weather, the workers flit from flower to flower. They suck up a liquid called nectar. And they gather a powder called pollen. Honeybee workers carry the nectar and pollen back to the hive. They eat the pollen and they change the nectar into honey. Some of the honey they eat, the rest they store in the hive. A female honeybee can sting. The stinger is at the end of her body. Sometimes a honeybee stings an animal or person. You cannot pull out the stinger so the bee flies off without it. Certain ants also sting. The fire ant is the worst. It locks its jaws in another insect's flesh. Then it lowers its back and an ouch, it stings. Ants usually build their colonies in the soil. Worker ants dig tunnels in the earth. Ants mostly eat fruit and nectar. They carry the food back to the colony. As they go, they press their bodies to the ground. This leaves a smell trail that other ants follow to get more food. Harvester ants gather seeds. They chew them into a food called ant bread. Some ants capture tiny insects called aphids. They have a good reason. Aphids suck plant juices. The aphids turn the juices into a sweet liquid called honeydew. The ants stroke the aphids with their antennae. This makes the aphids give up drops of honeydew. The ants just lap it up. Many wasps live in paper nests. The nests are made by female wasps. They chew plants or old wood and mix it with spit. This makes thin sheets of paper that the females shape into nests. You may have seen a paper wasp nest hanging from a tree or a building. In summer ants, the wasp workers and males die. Only the queen hibernates. She builds a new nest in the spring. Insects are all around. Wherever you go, you find them. And they find you. The end.